Okay, we're into some uh, younger Duroc gilts here, and uh, I guess I'm gonna we're gonna start out with the um, 30, the one following the blue stick. 30-7. Yes, thank you for correct. 30-7, uh, an Undertaker. Uh, this is the first litters out of that boar, uh, Marty Ray's. That really uh, does have stoutness. Look at the, this kind of a gilt. This 30-7. You've got Big forearm, deep bodied, wide walking. Um, she wants to stay behind the other one, but you can still see the extra dimension. That one's kind of unique when you can get them that stout, yet still have some length. Look at the underline, look at the tail setting. She's good today. Just kind of feed her, and I think she might be a banner deal each and every time. 30 7. Yeah, and. Uh Far Stock Farms has always been known for good spotted hogs, and that's why we start off the preview, Tom. But from a quality standpoint, I'm not too sure. This uh, this could have been the very first pen of gilts to walk in the ring, and we would have been just sitting sitting just pretty because the other gilt that we have in here is the 24-9 uh, gilt, and she is a statement day uh, pointer next chapter, and obviously uh, statement day uh, bore uh, there at Platts. And uh, I was just asking Taylor, you know, this one's pretty neat. And uh, there's, there's other gilts that are going to stay here, but Taylor said, uh, you know, it's the PC-looking females that usually be the good sows. That's the really complete ones that sometimes make the best show gilts. And uh, uh, this one is just, uh, I don't want to say complete because sometimes that's correlated with common, and this one is not common. Uh, she is so neat looking up front. She's so good in her body shape, and I hope you're able to watch her go away. That's a big hind leg that goes a very long ways. I would say uh, the statement day bore worked on uh, on these particular sows here at Far Stock Farms. I think that one, I like that one. She was the first one to come in. I thought she was really, really good. Uh, but I think this 30-7 gilt is pretty dang good as well, folks. I think these two need to be taken very seriously. Uh, find them here in the barn. This is the 24-9 and the 30-7 Durot gilts.